in this uh, chart right here, we have a bunch of students and their grades and broken down by grade and gender. If a student is randomly chosen, find the probability the student did not earn a B. Now there's nothing here about gender, so I could actually ignore the male and female differences because this has nothing to do with gender, so we can really just restrict down to the total. Now the total does still distinguish between A, B, and C students, but if I only looked at this, I would be throwing away any information on gender, but this question didn't specify anything about gender, so it's okay to only look at these totals. Did not earn a B. So here's the students not earning Bs, 22 and 17. So these are the favorables. So 22 out of 63, 17 out of 63. And that is 39 out of 63. And they do want decimal answer here, so you should convert it to a decimal. And we're gonna do the next question as well, which is similar, but a little bit different. So again, very similar chart. A student is randomly chosen. Find the probability a student is either male or earned a B. All right, now we have to distinguish by gender and grade. So we can't do what we did last time where we just looked at, oh, we're only looking at one row. So we need to know the student is male or earned a B. So there are three uh, male students are earning three different grades. Those are all favorable outcomes. Male students or earned a B. So there are two outcomes for Bs, but we've already counted one of these outcomes. So we only need to count the female B students here. And these are all the favorables. So we can add these up. 20 plus 8 plus 4 plus 3. You can put them all over 65 or individually. You'll get the same thing. 28, 32, 3, 34, 35 over 65. And they want reduced fraction. This does reduce. Ooh, we're both divisible by 5. 13? So we'll find out. Oh, look at that. All right. So again, there are other ways to do this, but I'd like to just look at the chart and just think in terms of favorable uh, outcomes, or you could think in unfavorable outcomes and you could do one minus at the end. That's another option for these questions.